and a true whopper this morning as Donald Trump says the economy would take off like a rocket ship if the Fed cuts rates. The land of Arcadia. Hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcadia Economics. And a true whopper this morning as Donald Trump says the economy would take off like a rocket ship if the Fed cuts rates and quantitative tightening. Where to begin on this one? Yeah, there's, there's one sense in which what he's saying there's some truth to, or actually maybe there isn't any truth to, to be completely honest. Because yes, if the Fed starts cranking out hundreds like a drunken sailor again, yeah, you'll have the stock market go up. You'll probably have the real estate market rally. People be buying bonds. That'll be buying bonds with printed money. So kind of like Ben Bernanke alluded to in his 2010 op-ed in the Washington Post, fascinating if you haven't read it, where he actually says, you know, creating money, creating credit will give people the feeling that there's more money out there. And yeah, that's what happens when you print money. Um, but of course, the downside is that when you take away the printed money, you run into exactly what Trump wants to avoid here. Uh, it's interesting, some of his quotes, I think they should drop rates, get rid of tightening. Um, you'd see a rocket ship, despite that, we're doing really well. Um, yeah, mentions, Fed really slowed us down in terms of economic growth. So basically, after the subprime bubble collapse, the Fed went nuts printing money. And then when, keep in mind, this wasn't like a year or two ago. <laughs> It's 10 years ago now, over 10 years, considering Lehman bust in 2008. And in fact, uh, really the signs of subprime troubles started early in 2007. So in either case, uh, 10, 11 years, however you want to count it, of money printing. And yet now you see when it was time to raise rates, the stock market ran into trouble last fall. The real estate market still struggling. And Trump is saying, well, <laughs> yeah, raising rates is slowing things down. Yeah, you're going to get the exact opposite effect when you take away the printed money as to when you put it there. So, yeah, it's not going to be fun. And as I've been saying on this channel and elsewhere for years now, I don't think the banking system can sustain higher interest rates. I think we're past the point of no return where this Wall Street matrix as we know it is coming to an end, which we've been trained to fear and imagine people shooting each other in the streets, although I really don't personally see it that way myself. And I'll give my favorite analogy. I've probably said this here before, but worth repeating. The Fed's printed away 99% of the dollar. You could look at it that you're actually getting 1% of what you actually contribute. So imagine if instead of taking 99% through inflation, even if the banks were and governments were still taking 90% of the value of each dollar, but the people had 10%, which means every person wakes up tomorrow with an extra zero on their salary. And think about you know the single parent who's working two or three jobs and just barely getting by. Imagine how life would change for that person if you added a zero on there Somebody just wanted to work part time, did what is we see as the equivalent of five or ten thousand dollars of of work, and now that's fifty or a hundred thousand dollars just because so much isn't being taken through the printing of the currency, which is really just hopefully helps point out the extent to which the inflation has taken so much from American life. Of course, this filters around the globe. So the idea that life after the dollar means everyone is uh, gonna live in Armageddon, I used to believe, I'm not so sure that I do anymore, and certainly I think there's a lot of positive that could come from this, yet here it is as the rates are going up, Fed's slowing down, Trump you know, has been bashing them all along, but here to say, should drop rates or lower rates. He's advocating more printed money. The exact factor, if there's one single thing that has led to this style of economy we have where there's so much division and not really an equal playing field in many senses, it is the inflation. 
And one other reason I really wanted to comment on this today is because here's Donald Trump, August 2016. So that was during the campaign. Donald Trump on the stock market, it's all a big bubble. Uh, <laughs> amazingly, if rates go up, you're going to see something that's not pretty. It's all a big bubble. Completely agree there. Um, but when do we end the bubble? How much do we just keep bubbling it on until you blow out the currency. Now I will preface this, uh, I did a video about this last year. You can look, is uh, Trump making America great again? There are different schools of thought. Hard to know what to believe because what things Trump is saying now in many ways are so divergent from what he talked about before because here we have Trump saying, uh, it's important to audit the Federal Reserve, which has not happened. And here, again, the other thing that caught my eye back during the campaign, Trump saying bringing back the gold standard would be very hard to do, but boy, would it be wonderful. We'd have a standard on which to base our money. So maybe not a full Alan Greenspan in terms of hanging out with Ayn Rand and talking about the gold standard, bashing recent Fed chairs for their inflationary policy yet, Look at what he did while he was in office. So there is that school of thought that Trump is very well aware that these things are a bubble, aware of why gold is important, and perhaps that he's setting up some of the bankers so the thing can implode, which might be the only way to destroy the power of the banking matrix. Um, I know it sounds quite far-fetched, and if I hadn't heard it from a few different folks, who go behind the scenes that I really respect and trust. Um, and certainly today's latest announcement would not give you confidence in that idea. You, you, maybe I'm just hoping at this point because if what Trump is saying now is what he really feels and believes economically, then it's hard to see it as much more of a success than any of the other failed establishment candidates and what they've done to the economy. Maybe Trump's uh, playing a wild chess match and realizes this is a bubble and is just saying that uh, again in what he announced today. Who knows? But in either case, if you take his words on the surface of it, uh, already the Fed has stopped raising rates, uh, plans to stop the tightening, which I think we can count on that. Now Trump jumping into the fire and saying we should cut rates. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see that. I mean, even before he said that, I think that was becoming a likelihood this year. Now perhaps even more so, which again is why I'm such a big advocate of gold and silver. So let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. With that said, we'll wrap up for today. But fascinating comments, and I will keep you posted. Thanks.